Recently, I talked about Gal Gadot being attacked on social media for being cast as Cleopatra. And on the surface, you might think to yourself, wow, I see absolutely no problems with that. I think that that's a pretty good casting. And I think that any reasonable person would think that way because Cleopatra was Greek, but people were attacking her and were very upset on social media because they were saying that Cleopatra was black and why does Hollywood keep whitewashing characters? And with the simple Google search, I had actually debunked that claim about Cleopatra. It is a pretty widespread theory that people do believe, but there's no evidence to back up that Cleopatra was black. And now something similar is uh, happening with the latest MCU announcement. As you can see on screen, it says that there has been an actress cast in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now, this actress has been cast in the Doctor Strange movie, and most people think that it is supposed to be America Chavez just because of her age and her general look. I mean, how many 14-year-olds are being cast in big roles in the MCU currently? But the cesspool that is Twitter is imploding yet again, saying that this can't be Miss America. America is a black Puerto Rican woman, and people are saying you can't just cast a white Latina and say you're being diverse. We're on to you, Marvel. You don't really care about diversity. And there's just so many things wrong with the argument that people are making. These people who are angry know nothing about this character and are just being angry to be angry. They are needlessly attacking an actress who was hired by a giant company because they don't like the choice that Marvel made. So this was the announcement. It does say that she was cast in the movie she is a little bit on the younger side. She is a 14-year-old actress, like I had mentioned, and America was like late teens, early 20s, so she does seem a little bit young. If this is even the actress being cast as America, we don't even know. There's no confirmation. It's just a lot of assumptions right now because she does look like she could generally fit the role. Someone said, I don't know who needs to hear this, but America is brown. If Sam Raimi is responsible for the casting decision, then somebody needs to talk to him before I do. I love how they're trying to act intimidating, like, we're all gonna riot. We're all gonna complain. We're all gonna boycott your movie if you don't change this. We need to talk to this director. He's just a director. He's not the person casting most of the roles. Yeah, I'm sure that ultimately he has a say in the roles, but he's not the one casting the roles. Someone else said, but America is brown, not white. Those are the, those are the emojis. Now, America, if these people don't know, is a literal alien. Let me, let me refer over to her Wikipedia page for a minute, as you can see on the right side of the screen. Let's look. Mar Publisher, Marvel Comics, First Appearance, Vengeance Number 1, 2011, Alter Ego, America Chavez, Species, Alien, Place of Origin, Utopian, parallel. Now, yes, obviously, we can't cast an alien from the utopian parallel, but I think that their choice, honestly, was close enough. These people are acting like they know everything. Like, by looking at a single comic that makes them an expert, just googling this character and saying, wow, her skin tone is a little bit darker in the comics means that this casting is inaccurate. But just look at her bio. Look at her background. And while she does have a human-looking figure and skin color. I think that their casting honestly was close enough if this is even her. We do not even know if this is the role. I think that it is safe to assume that she is playing this role, but she's an alien. Seriously, what is this outrage for? So, headed back to the cesspool, that is Twitter. Someone says, I need y'all to remember America is a black Puerto Rican woman. Someone else said, y'all, this can't be America. She's too light for all that. Do they not know this character? Did they literally just look at one picture of her and go, oh no, her skin tone's way different. We have to cancel this actress. So I decided to bring up a couple of the reasonable comments to balance out the outraged ones. Someone said, what we are not going to do is attack this young Latina for reportedly playing America. Be grateful, it ain't Scarlett Johansson. 
someone else, uh, Weaponized Nerd Rage, says people are already mad about the casting. They think that Gomez is too light-skinned to play America. Let the salt begin, and it's true because we knew as soon as this was announced, people were going to jump on it. People were going to find a reason to be outraged about it. And the next comment that I found is this America fake outrage. Reminds me when the Iron Fish show casted a white guy and people were angry because they didn't cast an Asian guy to play him even though he's white in the comics. Stop being angry about every little thing. So when people like me say that they're not happy with Tinkerbell's casting because she's not a light-skinned blonde character anymore and they decided to just up and change her race, we become racists. But when people like this are demanding a recast because the actress isn't the right skin color, even though she's an alien, that's not racist? You guys see the hypocrisy oozing from these people. It's not just my observation, right? I mean, it honestly baffles me that people do this. They complain about other people complaining, but they don't care when it's about their opinion. They don't see anything wrong with that. Now, at the end of the day, I think that this is just such ridiculous outrage these people clearly have no clue who the character is or what her background is, and I don't really like the character, to be honest. The character is just a very random character, but that doesn't mean that I would just go and outright attack people at the MCU, people part of the MCU, or this actress, just because I don't really love the character. I'd still want to give her a chance and see what she could do. I mean, I think that this actress, yes, does seem a little bit young to be America because she's supposed to be kind of in her late teens, early 20s, but I still think that they can make it work if it's done properly, and obviously they cast her for some role because they thought that she would be the best choice. That's all that I really had to discuss in this video. People are so incredibly outraged when they have absolutely no clue who the character is. It is just baffling to me that people are willing to complain about everything when they don't know the situation and they clearly don't know the character. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it though, please make sure to give it a like and share it. And of course, if you did not, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.